<laughs> All right. Here we go. Now, this is our little uh, Did You Know segment that we do every week. And I uh, wanted to kind of go over a few things regarding credit. I found this meme today. I'm a real big fan of it. Uh, the uh, This is, I don't know where this guy came from. This is like straight out of Joe Dirt. It's not Joe Dirt, but that uh, that real estate lady said, I need a pre-approval letter. But I told her the only letters I need are U, S, and A, baby. Love it. <laughs> Favorite. All right, sorry. He's in on that one. He's calling me in. Um, all right. So let's talk a little bit about credit. So we always talk about credit. We talked uh, in previous ones about how to get your credit up, credit uh, credit items that can be repaired. And I want to go over today a few credit myths because there's a lot of information out there about credit, but some of it is true and some of it's kind of like partially true. Would you say that, Glenda, most people that call have a um, kind of a skewed sense of what credit is and, and how, it, uh, how it impacts them? They do, and there's a lot of questions um, because, of course, they go on the Google, as how Kevin calls it, the Google, and the Google tells them, because um, Google's always right, they tell them the mis, you know, misrepresent, misrepresentation or the interpretation. So it's always good to call your loan officer to ask what really you need and what you don't need when you're applying for a home loan. Please don't ask the Google. They're not right. <laughs> well, they're right, but you have to be able to search through the not right information to get to the right information. That's so true. So true. <laughs> so, so a couple things. Let's start with number one. So number one, um, checking your credit will lower your credit score. Okay, so um, this would fall into the category of kind of true, but in our situation, not really true. So, for example, where this kind of came from is um, I always use uh, auto dealerships, unfortunately. Sorry, all you auto sales guys out there. Don't, uh, don't mean any, any harm by this. I'm sure you don't do this. But many times when you go to like a dealership to buy your car, for example, you're going to walk in and you're going to say, I want this, you know, 20000 or nowadays $60,000 car financed over seven years, and I want my payment to be $300. Well, then that, uh, that car salesman takes your information, goes to the back to the finance department, and has about 10 different banks pull your credit report to see who can give you the deal that you want, right? So in that situation, when you're having a car dealership pull your credit seven times in one day, yes it can impact your credit score, it can lower it, it can affect it, okay? And that's where this myth kind of starts, this is where it comes from. So when I say it's a myth, it's not a, not a myth 100%, but it is a myth in certain circumstances. When it comes to our world, for mortgages, it's a little bit different. So um, back in 2007, 2008, when everything was kind of falling apart with mortgages and mortgage-backed securities and the bond market and everything else, uh, the federal government decided to reach out to the credit bureaus and make a little slight change to um, how credit impacts your score. So what, or how pulling credit impacts your score for mortgages. So what they determined or what they decided basically is that you can have your credit pulled multiple times in basically a 30 day window without it affecting your score. After 30 days, it reports as one pull. And one pull really does not affect your score whatsoever. It might maybe change it a point maybe, but uh, for the most part, there's gonna be many of the things that are gonna affect it in that 30 day window more so than somebody pulling your credit one time. So <clears throat> the reason they did this is they want you to have the ability to shop different companies, figure out who you want to work with most and then decide where to go without having fear of having your credit pulled multiple times, prohibiting you from reaching out to somebody.